Hi friends, today's lesson is for module three, lesson 28. Friends, you know that I love math, but did you know that I also love reading? I do, I do, I love them both. Uh, sometimes I'm like, what should I do first? Math or reading, I'm so excited. Today I'm super excited because we get to kind of mix a little bit of reading with a little bit of math, which of course is just gonna make for an amazing lesson. See, when you read a story, you got to make good pictures in your brain of what you're reading about. Like if the character sees a beautiful rainbow, sometimes in my brain I picture like a beautiful shiny rainbow that's so sparkly and I love it. I love making those good pictures in my brain. And when you make pictures in your brain as you're reading, it's kind of like watching your own movie. That's called visualizing. Can you say visualize? All right, so our learning goal for today says I can visualize or make pictures in my brain, numbers to compare them. So today we're not gonna write down anything. We are just using that good old brain. And we're gonna try to make pictures of the numbers in our brain. And then we're gonna compare that way. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. Are you ready? I know that you are. Here we go. All right, so my first two numbers are three and five. Down at the bottom, you see I already have my sentence. Blank is more than blank and blank is less than blank. That's because I know our goal is to compare. So let's think about these numbers. I want you to go ahead and close your eyes. All right, now let's think about the number three. Can you picture it in your brain? I'm gonna tap so you help you to picture it a little bit. Okay, that's three, and then this is five. Oh, all right, in my brain I'm thinking of three and three objects and then five objects. Do you know which one's more, friend? Yeah, five is more than three. Listen to the sounds again really close together. First I'll do three, and then I'll do five. Yeah, you can hear that five is a lot longer. You know, when you're comparing using your brain, if you need to get your finger, and just tap them out, you can do that, that's fine. But really what I want you to do is work on, you know, drawing those quick little circles in your brain and what does it look like? Or three ice cream cones versus five ice cream cones. Which one is more? Making those good pictures in your brain, okay? We've already decided five is more than three. So that must mean what? Blank is less than blank, what would you say? Yeah, three is less than five. Excellent job, whew. All right, are you ready to do the next one? This is hard work. You're really putting your brain through some good exercises with this one. I like that you're hanging in there with this tricky one. All right, our new numbers are six and two. Let's go ahead and think of the number six. And as we think of it, I'm gonna think of, ooh, six puppies. Ah, I could cut all them. I'm gonna think of six. I'm gonna tap them out really fast. Oh my goodness, I'm just visualizing myself holding six puppies and they're running all over the place. All right, now I'm gonna visualize two. Um, oh, how about two kitties? Oh, they're so little in my arm. All right, which one would be more, six or two? Blank is more than blank. Use those good pictures, six puppies versus two kitties. What would you say? Oh, you're so good, yeah, six is more than two. Oh my God, this is so tricky, but you're doing such a nice job. So if six is more than two, that means blank is less than blank. How would you finish that sentence? Perfect, yes. Two is less than six. Now I know there are some friends in our class who just really, really, really like to draw pictures or really, really, really like to get objects. Remember yesterday we talked about different strategies? That's fine. Today we're just exercising another strategy in our brain or we're trying to visualize, make those good pictures of things, okay? So if it's tricky, just all right, just hang in there with me. And you know, I like animals, so I think of those a lot, but maybe you wanna think of something else. All right, our new numbers are eight and four. So I'm thinking about how to compare these. How should I compare these? Press pause, you think about it, and when you think that you know the answer, blank is more than blank, you press play and check yourself, okay? All right, so what items did you picture in your brain? What did you visualize? Oh, very nice. For this one, I visualized something spooky. Ugh. I I visualized eight spiders. Ew, gross. Ugh. And then I visualized four snakes. Ew, gross. 
And although they're both scary and gross, I mean, according to Miss Arwood, I realize eight spiders is more than four snakes, even though the snakes would be longer. What did you, how did you do? Did you get eight is more than four? Very good. Now, if eight is more than four, what would our next sentence have to be? Blank is less than blank. What would you say there? Yes, four is less than eight. Good visualizing. All right. Our learning goal for today says I can visualize numbers to compare them. Remember, visualize just means to make a good picture in your brain. All right? You can use a picture of anything. Like maybe you want to picture aliens or ninjas karate chopping all over the place. I don't know. Or, of course, cute, cute unicorns or donuts. The thing is, when you visualize, it's in your own brain. So you can picture anything. All right? So here's what you need to do. I want you to send me a video and tell me on Seesaw seven and four. Compare them, okay? You don't have to write anything down. I just want to, I want you to tell me what you pictured, what did you visualize in your brain for each of those. And then I want you to finish these sentences. Blank is more than blank and blank is less than blank. So remember, tell me what you pictured in your good brain, what did you visualize, and then tell me the good answer to those sentences. All right, good luck with this tricky, tricky learning goal.